Stop throwing away batteries. Why? Improperly displaced batteries contribute to water and air pollution. They negatively affect human health. So how can we recycle batteries properly? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Aaron from Aaron Plays Fun Facts. First of all, I would love to give a huge thanks to High Efficiency Cooling and Heating Company in Toronto. They're doing an awesome free service. Which is to collect your used batteries while they do installation or maintenance service at your house. Instead of throwing them away in the trash or driving them around in the landfill for recycling. Check out their link down below. In this video, I'll explain how batteries work and why we shouldn't throw them away. First, let's find out three fun facts about batteries. Fact number one. The first battery was created by Alessandro Volta in 1798. Fact number two. If we back up to number one, the famous word volt, which is an electrical measuring unit, for those who don't know, actually came from Volta's last name. Vault. Fact number three, we estimate that Americans purchase over three billion batteries each year. Imagine the ones that we throw away. How does battery work? Now we know some facts about batteries, let's learn how batteries work. Batteries power our toys and gadgets by converting chemical energy into electrical energy. The opposite ends of a battery, known as the anode and cathode, generate an electrical circuit that conducts power to an electronic device. So in a word, batteries turn chemical energy into electrical energy. These little containers seeming simple because you just need to arrange the negative and positive side of the battery into your machine or toy to power it. But in fact, batteries are extremely complicated into building and discovering it without it malfunctioning. To simplify batteries, just imagine inside the metal skin of the battery, they separated two types of chemicals. Let's call them chemical positive and chemical negative. We separated the battery equally. We filled one half of it with chemical positive and filled the other half with chemical negative. Say the electrons in chemical negative and chemical positive wants to flow and circle around each other but they can't because there is a wall. If we connect wires to each end, the electrons will flow and power your machine. Unfortunately, at some point, your chemicals in the battery will run out. Rechargeable batteries consume less natural resources. There are two types of batteries, rechargeable batteries and disposable batteries. Did you know rechargeable batteries consume less non-renewable natural resources? Overall than disposable batteries? One huge positive of using rechargeable batteries is that due to their ability to recharge, fewer batteries are needed to provide the same amount of energy. This translates to fewer resources being consumed during the manufacturing process. Another benefit using rechargeable batteries over disposable batteries is the cost savings. Rechargeable batteries saves the consumers money Due to its reusability, there has been a huge increase in demand of batteries. This demand stands from the fact that billions of people carry electronics that consume electricity, of course. It's way more efficient for maybe the first 100 years. But after decades and decades, the environment will be more toxic and deadly for living creatures. Improperly disposed batteries contribute the water and air pollution. When depleted batteries are tossed into the trash, they end up in landfills where they decay and leak. As batteries corrode, their chemicals soak into soil and contaminate groundwater and surface water. Our ecosystems, which contain thousands of aquatic plants and animals, are compromised, are filled with battery chemicals. Which means that when we drink from tab water, we could be ingesting 
dangerous metals. Did you know improperly disposed lithium batteries can be very unstable? Lithium batteries can cause landfill fires that can smother for many years. As a result, the toxic chemicals released into the air negatively affect our breathing and contribute to global warming. The vaporized form of improperly exposed batteries also gets trapped in the atmosphere and pollutes lakes and streams in the form of rain. The improperly disposed batteries negatively affect human health, exposing the environment to lead and strong corrosive acids found in batteries can cause burns and dangers to our eyes and skin. According to the Agency of Toxic, Agency for Toxic Substance and Disease Registry, toxic metals like nickel and cadmium found in batteries are known human carcinogens. Carcinogens are any substance, radiation, radionuclide that acts as an agent that causes cancer. When these agents interact with our air and water, we risk developing cancerous disabilities. Another toxic metal commonly found in batteries is lead, which has been linked to severe medical issues like developmental and neurological problems and congenital disabilities. Recycling batteries is easy. At the end of the day, we need to figure out how to recycle batteries. In fact, 81% of consumers agreed that they would recycle their batteries if it was more convenient. So where do we put the used batteries? You won't have a specific bin like you do for plastics and papers. If you have a municipal drop-off center, it may have a battery drop-off bin, but probably not. Used battery drop-off boxes in retail stores, with the exception of convenience and grocery stores. Almost every big name retailer that sells batteries or electronics will have these drop-off programs. As I mentioned from the beginning, programs like high efficiency heating and cooling companies willingly take your batteries and recycle them on your behalf as an act of public service. You can contact them with the link here if we all take our responsibilities like high efficiency cooling and heating company, our earth would be greener in the future. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and leave a like for more fun facts. You could also share this video with friends and family so they can learn more about batteries too. Comment below if you have any questions or comments. Alright, that's all for today. See you guys in the next video. Peace.